Imagine this, a humanoid robot in your kitchen, cracking eggs, frying bacon, and answering your questions about the stock market in real time. Well, Elon Musk just confirmed it's no longer science fiction. The Tesla bot Gen 3 Optimus is officially entering production with over 5,000 units planned for 2026, powered by none other than Musk's Grok 5 AI brain. And let me tell you, the upgrades are absolutely insane, because this isn't just a robot that walks around awkwardly. This is a fully functional, dollar twenty thousand human assistant capable of cooking, cleaning, babysitting, and even holding natural conversations. Think about it. For the price of a used Toyota, you can literally hire a robotic butler that never gets tired, never calls in sick, and can run for 20 hours straight, before auto-docking itself on a wireless charging station. But here's the shocking part. Musk revealed Optimus isn't just a home helper. Tesla is scaling production so aggressively, insiders say we could see half a million robots built within a few years. That's not just evolution. That's a revolution. And while rivals like Unitree are struggling with security flaws, so bad hackers could take over their robots with a single password, Tesla has been laser focused on safety, security, and real world usefulness. In fact, the Gen 3 Optimus now has redesigned hands with 27 degrees of freedom, nearly identical to a human swap. Because Musk knows the entire human world, from doorknobs to frying pans to keyboards, was built for our hands. To replace us, a robot needs to be us. Now, let's talk brains. The integration of Grok 5 Musk's latest AI is the game changer nobody saw coming. Unlike ChatGPT, Grok isn't just a text model, it's trained on Tesla's real world vision data, Dojo supercomputer simulations, and billions of human interactions across X, meaning Optimus doesn't just guess, it learns, it imitates, it adapts. Picture this you show it how to fold laundry once, it never forgets. Show it how you like your steak cooked, it replicates it perfectly every single time. This is what Musk calls real world AI. But wait, it gets crazier. Optimus Gen 3 doesn't just charge like your phone. It uses wireless magnetic resonance charging. That means while it's standing idle, it can recharge itself without ever needing to be plugged in. Just 5 minutes on its charging pad gives it enough juice to work for another 4 hours. We're literally watching robots learn to live like humans work, rest, and recharge. Of course, here's the burning question. The price. Elon Musk has confirmed the Tesla bot Gen 3 will launch at $20,000. Now, that might sound steep, but remember. Tesla is leveraging the same parts used in its EVS, 4,680 batteries, motors, actuators, sensors, cameras, by mass producing them in gigafactories, their driving costs down. Musk even hinted prices could fall closer to $10,000 once mass production ramps up. Compare that to Boston Dynamics Atlas, which isn't even for sale to the public, or Unitree's $16,000 G1, which has way less capability. Suddenly, Optimus looks like a bargain. Here's the scary but fascinating reality. Tesla is about to flood the world. With humanoid robots, factories, hospitals, schools, even your living room Optimus could be everywhere within the next decade. Musk himself has said this could one day be bigger than Tesla's car business. And when you think about it, he's not exaggerating. The global labor market is worth hundreds of trillions of dollars. If even 1% of jobs are replaced by Optimus, Tesla becomes not just a car company, but the backbone of the next industrial revolution. So the big question is, are we ready? Because what Elon Musk just unveiled isn't just a robot. It's a future where humans may no longer be the only workers on Earth. And the craziest part, production begins this year. And here's where things get even wilder. Because production isn't just happening inside Tesla's Giga. Sources reveal Elon Musk has secretly allocated a dedicated Optimus production line inside Giga Texas, the same facility cranking out Cybertrucks. Why? Because Musk doesn't want Optimus to just be a prototype, he wants assembly line scale. The same way Ford revolutionized cars. Once you can mass-produce humanoid robots like you mass-produce vehicles, the game changes forever. And that's exactly what's happening. Engineers say the first 5,000 units will be distributed not to private homes, but to Tesla's own factories. Yes, Tesla is about to replace thousands of factory workers. With robots built by Tesla, it's a closed loop. Robots building robots, dot. Think about that for a second. This isn't automation like we've seen before with robotic arms or conveyor belts. These are humanoid robots, built to move like humans using the same walkways, tools, and systems designed for us. No massive retooling required. Factories don't need to be redesigned. Instead, the workforce is. But here's the hidden twist. Insiders say Tesla's endgame isn't just car factories. Musk is testing Optimus in controlled environments before unleashing it to warehouses, hospitals, and even schools. A world where your hospital nurse might be a Tesla bot. A world where your delivery driver is a Tesla bot. And a world where children grow up side by side with robots just as we grew up with smartphones. And yet, with all this excitement comes an equal amount of fear. 
Because if Tesla can mass-produce half a million Optimus robots, what does that mean for the global job market? Imagine millions of people suddenly replaced cashiers, drivers, cleaners, cooks. Musk himself has warned that universal basic income may become necessary because of how disruptive Optimus will be. We're not just talking about a gadget here. We're talking about the restructuring of human civilization. Now let's circle back to the AI. Brain inside Optimus Grok 5. Unlike older AIs, Grok isn't bound to a keyboard or chat window. It sees the world through Tesla's cameras. It learns through physical interaction. This means Optimus doesn't just talk smart. It acts smart. Picture this. You come home, groceries in hand. Optimus recognizes the bags, takes them from you, and immediately begins organizing them in your kitchen. No instructions, no commands. It just knows. That's the leap from digital AI to embodied AI intelligence that doesn't live in the cloud but in a body standing right in front of you. And the craziest part, Musk has hinted that Optimus Gen 3 is only the beginning. Future versions may come with interchangeable modules. Imagine swapping out its home hands for factory hands, or upgrading its sensors the way you'd upgrade a smartphone. Some leaks even suggest a Tesla app store for robots, where developers can create new skills for Optimus and sell them, just like iPhone apps in 2008. Meaning one day, your Tesla bot could download the ability to become a chef, a fitness coach, or even a personal tutor for your kids. And if that doesn't blow your mind, consider this. With Dojo Supercomputers, training Optimus 24-7, every Tesla bot learns from every other Tesla bot. If one robot in Texas figures out how to peel an orange more efficiently, every other robot across the world instantly gains that knowledge. We're talking about a global hive mind of humanoid intelligence. This isn't just about building one robot. This is about creating the largest collective brain humanity has ever seen. And here's the wildest cliffhanger. Rumors are swirling that Musk plans to showcase Optimus Gen 3 in a live demonstration at Tesla AI Day, where thousands of units could be walking side by side in perfect sync. Not a prototype. Not CGI. A literal army of humanoid robots moving as one. And that event could happen sooner than anyone expects. So let me ask you this. If Tesla can really deliver 5,000 units this year, scale to half a million in just a few more, and integrate Grok 5 intelligence into every single one, are we witnessing the birth of a trillion dollar industry? or the beginning of a world where humans may no longer be the dominant workforce. Now imagine this. The stage lights dim at Tesla AI Day Elon Musk walks out, smiling with that quiet confidence we've all seen before. But this time, he doesn't just bring one Optimus robot on stage. The curtains pull back, and standing behind him are hundreds of Optimus Gen 3 bots, lined up like soldiers, every single one perfectly still, glowing faintly under the lights. And then Elon says just two words. Watch this. Instantly, the robots begin to move. Not clunky, not stiff, but with fluid human-like precision. Some wave, some walk. Some pick up objects, clean surfaces, fold clothes, or even cook small meals on demo kitchens placed on stage. The crowd gasps, because this isn't CGI, this isn't a concept render, this is real. Here's the secret, very few people are talking. About Tesla isn't just testing Optimus in factories. Quiet pilot programs are already running in warehouses, hospitals, and logistics hubs. Think about itrobots that never get tired, moving packages in Amazon warehouses, robots assisting doctors and nurses in hospitals, lifting patients, carrying equipment, disinfecting rooms, robots working security at airports, monitoring crowds, scanning for threats. The future isn't 10 years away. It's starting right now and here's where it gets even more money. Tesla insiders have leaked that Optimus Gen 3 is being trained to drive Tesla vehicles autonomously in case of emergencies. Picture this. You're exhausted, stuck in traffic. An Optimus simply slides into the driver's seat, takes control, and gets you home safely while you rest in the passenger seat. Or better yet, imagine fleets of Tesla bots deploying themselves into idle Tesla cars, transforming every unused vehicle into a robo-taxi within minutes. This isn't science fiction. This is the Tesla ecosystem coming full circle. And let's not forget, Musk has already hinted that Optimus will eventually be integrated with Neuralink. That means a future where you don't just talk to your Tesla bot. You could literally think a command, and it executes instantly. Need groceries? Think it. The bot leaves, drives a Tesla car, shops, and returns. Need to clean the house? Think it. Optimus starts scrubbing, dusting, and organizing. It's a direct bridge between human thought and robotic action. We are talking about a level of convenience, power that no other company on earth is even close to. But here's the real kicker. Musk knows Optimus won't just be a household or factory assistant. He sees Optimus as humanity's companion species, a world where every single person could one day afford a humanoid robot that cooks, cleans, teaches, entertains, drives, and maybe even protects. We're not just buying machines anymore. We're buying partners for life. And that raises the ultimate question. 
How far is Ilan willing to go? Will we see Optimus Gen 4 or Gen 5 capable of emotions, relationships, even forming memories with us? Because once that line is crossed, once these robots aren't just assistants but actual companions, humanity changes forever, and the craziest part? All signs point to that future being much closer than anyone dares to admit. When you look at the Tesla bot army Musk is about to unleash, do you see the greatest technological breakthrough of our time war, the biggest disruption humanity has ever faced? Because either way, the world we knew is already gone. Fast forward just a few short years, it's 2030, you wake up in your Tesla home, powered entirely by solar roofs and Tesla battery packs. The lights turn on automatically as the house senses your movement. The air feels fresh, perfectly adjusted by the AI-driven climate system, and standing quietly by your bedside, waiting for your command is your Optimus Gen 5 dot. It greets you by name, reminding you of your schedule. While another Tesla bot downstairs has already brewed your coffee, made your breakfast, and is packing your gym bag. But here's the thing, this isn't luxury anymore. This is normal life for millions of people. Everywhere you look, Optimus is there. On city streets, fleets of Tesla bots maintain infrastructure fixing potholes, repairing traffic lights, cleaning sidewalks, dot in hospitals. Optimus works as a nurse's assistant, lifting patients with care preparing surgical tools with precision, and even comforting families with its AI-powered empathy system. Dot in schools, Tesla bots help teachers personalize education for every student explaining math to one kid while teaching coding to another, and in factories. Optimus isn't just assembling cars anymore, it's assembling other Optimus units. Robots building robots, a self-sustaining workforce. Expanding exponentially. Here's the scary yet fascinating part. By 2030, Tesla bots are projected to outnumber Tesla cars on the road. That means we may have tens of millions of humanoid robots living, working, and walking among us. And unlike cars, which you park in your driveway, Optimus doesn't rest. That it works 20 hours a day, 7 days a week, in one month. A single Optimus can complete the equivalent of a full year of human labor. Now multiply that by millions. This isn't just automation. This is the rewiring of civilization itself. But, here's the plot twist almost. No one is ready for. Elon isn't just building. Optimus for Earth SpaceX has already confirmed experiments. To adapt Optimus for Mars colonization, imagine, the first settlers on Mars won't be humans. They'll be Optimus bots, building habitats, laying solar grids, digging tunnels, preparing oxygen plants long before the first rocket of humans even arrives. Humans won't step into a barren wasteland. They'll step into a colony already built by Tesla. Bots.Optimus is not just a product, it's Elon's ultimate multiplanetary workforce. And if that wasn't enough, there's the intelligence factor. Optimus Gen 3 runs on Grok 5. But Gen 5, it could run on Grok 10. A model so advanced it learns faster than any AI we've ever seen. A robot that doesn't just mimic human behavior but anticipates it. A robot that knows your habits, your routines, even your emotions. You don't have to tell it what to do anymore. It already knows that it becomes less like a servant and more like a partner. And this is where the world splits. Some will see Optimus as salvation ending poverty, building abundance creating a future where humans no longer work tedious jobs, others will see it as a ticking time bomb. Because what happens when robots outnumber humans, and are smarter, faster, and stronger too? It's the same question Elon Musk himself has warned about again, and again. Will AI serve humanity, or surpass it? And with Tesla bots, we might be closer to that answer than anyone dares to admit. But here's the thing nobody talks about. Governments are starting to panic. When Tesla bots begin replacing millions of workers, entire industries collapse overnight. Truck drivers, factory workers, retail employees, even parts of the medical field suddenly. Human labor looks outdated. Some countries welcome it, calling it the dawn of a post work society. Universal basic income discussions explode. Politicians promise that Optimus will give every citizen more freedom, more creativity, more life. But other nations, they see a threat. They fear Tesla's monopoly. They fear that one man, Elon Musk, controls the most powerful workforce in history. Think about it, Elon doesn't just build cars anymore. He builds the workers that build everything. Dot. And when the cost of a Tesla bot drops to $20,000 or less, every household, every business, every military, every government will want them. But who controls the operating system? Who controls the updates? Who controls the kill switch? Now imagine this. In 2032, Tesla announces that every Optimus unit will be integrated with Starlink 3.0. That means every Tesla bot is connected. In real time, across the entire planet, a global swarm of humanoid robots learning from each other instantly. If one Optimus learns a new skill in Tokyo, every Optimus on Earth knows it within seconds. A universal intelligence network, not a million robots, but one giant mind, spread across millions of bodies. Dot, and this is where conspiracy theories explode. Is this the beginning of Elon's hive mind vision? Is Neuralink the next step? 
where not just robots, but humans, are plugged into the same network, a seamless blend of man and machine, brain and AI, all feeding into Tesla's ecosystem. Here's a future that will make your head spin. By 2035, you walk into a Tesla store, but you're not buying a car, you're not buying a phone, you're not even buying a house. You're subscribing to an entire lifestyle package, a Tesla, home powered by Tesla Solar. A Tesla car driven by FSD 15 amp, Tesla bot is your personal assistant, a Neuralink chip to keep you connected, and an X membership to access the global digital economy. One subscription, one company, one ecosystem, and who runs it all? Elon Musk. But here's the chilling possibility. If every home, every car, every robot, every phone, every brain implant is connected to Tesla's ecosystem, then in a way, Elon doesn't just run a company anymore, he runs civilization. The question is no longer can Tesla bots build a better future. The question is, are we ready to live in Elon Musk's future? Asterisk, now picture the year 2040. You step off a SpaceX starship on Mars. The first thing you see, not astronauts planting flags, not scientists setting up labs. You see Tesla bots, thousands of them, already working, already building. They've been here for years, preparing the colony before humans even arrived. Factories rise from the Martian dust, solar fields stretch across the horizon, underground habitats glow with artificial sunlight. And here's the shocking part most of this isn't managed by humans. It's automated. It's Tesla's global AI, extended across two planets. Back on Earth, things look very different. Governments have realized that they no longer control the economy. Tesla does. Because when one company controls the robots, the factories, the cars, the energy, the satellites, the houses, the phones, the brains what's left for governments to control. Some nations try to fight back, banning Tesla products, but banning Tesla is like banning electricity. It's already everywhere, and here's the real twist. Tesla doesn't even need to sell you anything anymore. Your Tesla bot works for you. Your Tesla bot earns Tesla. Your Tesla bot pays for your Tesla home. Subscription automatically. It's an economy where humans aren't the workers anymore, Tesla bots are. And Elon he doesn't just run a trillion dollar company anymore. He runs the largest labor force in history, across two planets, but this is where it gets truly unsettling. With Neuralink, humans can connect directly to this network. Your thoughts, your memories, your knowledge uploaded in seconds. At first, it sounds amazing. A student can learn quantum physics in an afternoon. A doctor can download the latest surgical techniques instantly. But then the question arises. If Tesla's AI runs the network, if Optimus is the worker, if Starlink is the communication layer, what's left of you that isn't already part of Tesla's system? And so by 2045, the world is divided into two camps. The connected humans who merge with Tesla's ecosystem, living in hyper-efficient AI-managed smart cities where everything is optimized. The unconnected, those who reject it, clinging to old systems, resisting what they see as a corporate-controlled future. This isn't just an evolution of technology. It's the birth of two civilizations. One built by Tesla, one left behind.